going on everybody it's dreamy pisces back to do a video today this is a parenting tip i am a mom i have three kids this is my son christian it's not really about him he's away at college right now i wish i had known this when i was a first time mom with him that's my son legend he's nine years old that was when he was a little guy now he's a big guy <laughs> in the third grade my next little man is Chase. That was him when he was a little, little boy. And now he's four years old, going on five. Now, being a mother of three boys, having just a hectic, hectic life like everybody else, I've realized now that structure is very important. I've never been a big person that was really big on structure because I always felt like structure was boring. But structure is necessary for these little ones. And structure is necessary for me so that I remain stress-free. And so that I don't end up being the crazy lady, the crazy mom that's hollering and screaming. And stuff doesn't get done and being exhausted. So I just created a board for my kids for daily activities so I won't get crazy. Okay? This is what you're going to need to help you to create structure in your life. All you need is a poster board, some Sharpie markers some scissors, some tacks, and some really cool stickers. You can get all this stuff at the dollar store. You might even have it at the house. So this is what I created for my kids, and I hope this helps you too. These are charts that I make every month. It's like a behavior, homework, and you know chores type of a chart. This is for Chase. This is for my four-year-old. It says Chase's daily chart, and it's items that he has to complete every single day. If he does not complete these items, he does not get a sticker. The goal is to complete these items daily. You get a sticker and then at the end of the month, you're going to be treated with an outing or some sort of a activity. For the month of February, that was my first time trying this. I was very successful. It was very successful. Um, I ended up getting them a paint kit and we had a paint night, a family paint night. And it was pretty cool. They really enjoyed that a lot. And as you can see, these are the items Chase is supposed to do. Now for Legend, he's nine years old, so his chart is going to be just a little bit different on what he's supposed to take care of. But it's the same thing. You do the items that you're supposed to do, your behavior, do reading every day, make your bed before you leave, complete your homework, do your sight words, read 30 minutes every day. This is even on the weekends. Even on the weekends because literacy is so important. You know, follow directions timely. We have an issue with following directions timely. I don't like to repeat myself over and over again. And I'm going to give both kids, if they have five days without stickers, that means no activity at the end of the month. When you give them something to work towards, it's really helpful. It helps them to stick with it. Do your homework before watching TV. No TV. I try to keep the TV down. I really hope that this has helped you. Hey, so yeah, so those are the charts that I made for my kids and I just, like I said, I feel like it is going to help them because they have something to work towards. They have something to strive towards. If they know that they're going to get a treat at the end of the month and it might seem like a long time waiting 30 days, 31 days, but it'll be well worth it at the end of the month. Kids love stickers. You'd be surprised that something so small as a sticker can change everything about these little kids. It doesn't really take a whole lot. Kids want to be recognized. They want to feel appreciated. They want rewards when they do good. Old school parents would probably say, you don't need a reward. What you need a reward for? You're just supposed to do this stuff. But this is a new generation of children that we're dealing with. I know even when I was a kid, getting rewards, getting a pat on the back. You're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. That's so important for their self-esteem. So I'm just going to continue on with the chart every single month. It is very successful. If you use it, feel free to, you know, if you want to use what I put on the board, go for it. Um, you can add whatever you want to add to it, you know. Um, another one that I made sure that I put up there is manners my kids they will interrupt when I'm talking so you know I'm just trying to work with them to keep them from interrupting and they have to say excuse me and then wait to be addressed and then I say yes what do you need and then they can bombard me with whatever their request is whether it's for food or they just want to ask me some random question which they tend to do <laughs> as you know kids do they will be very random 
Um, but this works. This works. Uh, switching things up and just trying to create some sort of a pattern. My first child, I had him at 18 years old. I did not know what I was doing. The second one, I was a little bit better, but I was still very self-absorbed in my own life because um, I was still very young. I was in my 20s. Now that I have Chasey, I am going on 38 years old. He's almost five. He'll be five at the end of this month. The light bulb finally came on um, that I got to do something different so that their lives can be better so that my life can be better because it's nothing worse than being an extremely stressed out um, mother in a chaotic situation. So we have to, as moms, try to remove as much chaos as possible for ourselves and for the kids because if we're sick if we're depressed if we're down if we are just all over the place and things aren't getting done it's going to affect the children because we're going to be in a nasty mood you know I know I'm not the only one I'm just very transparent and honest about myself you know um and it works the structure actually works and I'm uh, you know, the man that I'm with, he has helped me to be more structured because I didn't really want to do structure, but he's just like, you know, it, it does help. So I just want to share this with you and I hope that this little trick has helped you. Um, now when I get my poster board, I'll just cut, go to Dollar Tree, get a board and cut it in half. And that's going to be great for both of the boys. Or, you know, if you have one child, you can cut it in half and um, just have one for one month to save the other one for the next month. Or you can even use construction paper, just whatever works. You know, you use what you have, even if it's a sheet of paper, create one on a sheet of paper, a miniature one. But yeah, so that's just my tip to the moms out there that are entrepreneurs. I am a mompreneur and working at home. So it's a blessing that I'm able to be here with them. But structure is needed. Structure is necessary. Thank you so much for watching my video. Peace.